I hope you're all well. Today we are going to be doing July's TBR using my Bookopoly board, which is upside down. <laughs> using my Bookopoly board. I am really excited about this one because um, I'm going to be doing sci-fi July, which I am hyped about. I'm looking forward to reading lots of sci-fi in July. I'm not holding that up for the whole thing. Um, but yeah, so uh, as always... We go through by doing a D&D roll. Um, I will be adding an extra roll on this month on the basis that I have failed June's TBR. I am filming this extremely early on the basis that um, I have lots I need to get to towards the end of the month. So this is pretty early on in the month and I know I'm going to fail my TBR. So I had an extra roll on for that. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, let's get into it and do the D&D D give out. Do we do... It's quite a growth spurt. Ha. Ah. It's quite a growth spurt. Oh, why can I die? And do the D&D die roll and find out how many rolls we're going to have overall. Okay, so let's see what the D&D has got for us. Whatever we have, we add a roll though because I failed my Bacopoly TBR last month. So let's see what we're going with. A three. Can you guys see that? A three. I'm semi-mad but kind of not like three is pretty small but we add one and we might get doubles it'll be fine let's see what happens <laughs> okay so we're gonna have three rolls plus, plus an extra because i failed june's tbr which is four excuse me is this the smallest tbr i've had so far on bacopoly i can't remember but probably um so okay four rolls let's see what happens we'll see if we get any doubles roll number one Okay, so last month we ended on a poll pick. This doesn't bode well seeing a science fiction dystopia and science fiction here. <laughs> we might not even get around the board. But let's see what happens. So, roll number one is eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is an adult fantasy. So roll number one was an adult fantasy and, and I did want to focus on sci-fi this month but I'm going to go for the fifth season by N.K. Jemisin. This is deemed like a, it's a fantasy, it's adult but it's deemed like a science fantasy if you like. Like it's very sci-fi-ish but it's fantasy as well. So I'm really happy about having this on my TBR. I've wanted to read this for ages. This was gifted to me by Ashley. So thank you Ash so much for gifting me this one. I really appreciate it. You're an angel. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to this one. I've heard great things about this one, but I know that both Ashley and G have recently read The Obelisk Gate, which is the second in this series and have not enjoyed it even half as much as they enjoyed the fifth season. So we'll see. I know the fifth season, I think I'm fairly certain was a five star for both of them. So um yeah on the back it says this is the way the world ends for the last time it starts with the great red rift across the heart of the world's sole continent spewing ash that blots out the sun it starts with death with a murdered son and a missing daughter it starts with betrayal and a long dorm and long dormant wounds rising up to fester this is the stillness a land long familiar with catastrophe where the power of earth is wielding a weapon and where there is no mercy i know nothing else about this book <laughs> than that but i am so excited about reading this one because i've heard incredible things so yeah really excited to have gotten this on my tbr so that is the first book for bookopoly roll number two is nine one two three four five six seven eight nine a middle grade Roll number two was a middle grade and for this one I could pick up middle grade monthlies book which I will mention a bit later on but I'm not going to. What I am going to pick up though is Orion Lost by Alistair Chrisholm which is a science fiction middle grade which is one of the prompts on my bingo board so I'm really excited about that one but I've been meaning to get to this one for ages. I know Jade loves this one. On the back it says there was a ship in space lost. The transport ship Orion is four months out of Earth when catastrophe strikes, leaving the ship and everyone on board stranded in a deep space. In deep space, suddenly it's up to thirteen-year-old Beth and her friends to navigate through the treacherous and uncharted territory to reach safety. But a heavily damaged ship, space pirates, a mysterious alien species, and, arti and an artificial intelligence that Beth doesn't know she can trust means that getting home has never been so difficult. With incredible twists and turns and an action-packed story, this is a thrilling, unputable unput downable adventure that's a really struggle for me to say that word i've heard incredible things i know jade as i've just mentioned loves this one so i've been meaning to pick this up for a while so i'm really excited to get this on here and pick this one up i am hyped roll number three is six 
one two three four five six community shelf and we have a becca wreck nice okay edith and steph here i've come up to the library because um i think it's time to inform my structural engineer dad and brother that their daughter and sister is an absolute fucking idiot and can't do maths so that was very clearly a seven what are you an idiot sandwich I should have landed on a YA fantasy, so on that basis we have come up to the library so that I can add a YA fantasy to my TBR because that's the right thing to do. So I have come up and we're going to add one of these to my TBR. I don't know where I will be up to with this series at this point because of when I'm editing this and I'm um, doing a thing that means that I kind of want to pick one or two of these up in the last few days of the month. So... I don't know where I will be up to at the moment. I am up to book two, which is Shadow Black. So it may be Shadow Black, it may be Charmcaster, which is book three, or it could be Soulbinder. But I will keep you posted in my vlogs and let you know which one. But it's going to be one of these Spellslinger series because this is a YA fantasy series. So it will be one of these. So that's what I'm telling you now, is that I'm adding this to my TBR. So we now have five books on my TBR <laughs> in advance. Um, so just... I'm a fucking idiot. That was a clear seven. What is wrong with me? Anywho, there you go. I'm adding a YA fantasy to my TBR. Woohoo. Then for the third roll, we got a community shelf card and we got Becca Rec. So for this one, I went through some of Becca's um, sci-fi and dystopia recommendation videos. And I actually went to her oldest one. I think it's her oldest one. Anyway, back in 2018, because I know that she's mentioned this book previously and she's enjoyed it. And I really want to pick this one up. I'm going to go for Ready Player One by Ernest Cline. Um, I know this is one of her favourite sci-fi books. I'm fairly certain that's the case. But if this doesn't hold up, then in 2020, 20, she recommended Vicious by V. Schwab so I will end up picking up v Vengeful up if this one is doesn't hold up and it doesn't it's not still one of her favorites which I'm fairly certain it is um I will pick Vengeful up for this prompt instead so I do have a backup just in case but yeah for this one I'm actually going to go for Ready Player One she does a candle for it and everything the Oasis candle it's my favorite candle from her shop so yeah on the back this says imagine a world at stake an epic struggle between good and evil the greatest quest in history the fate of humanity rests in your hands are you ready i watched a movie for this a while ago and really really loved it so i'm hoping i enjoy the book just as much but i'm really looking forward to this one i'm picking this one up and yeah as mentioned if this doesn't hold up as best still one of becca's favorites for um sci-fi i will pick up vengeful instead but i still think it counts because it was in a recommendations video it's just that it's from 2018 <laughs> but yeah um this is what i'm picking up for that one and then what looks to be the fourth and final roll <laughs> We've not even got over here to sci-fi and dystopia. Let's go. Is nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Community shelf. We got mood read. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> and then for the fourth and final roll. That was so easy, no doubles or nothing. We ended up with another community shelf card and this time we got Mood Read. So for this one, I am just going to see what I feel like picking up in the middle of the month and pick a book for that. So, um, I mean, Mood Read could be any number of the books I have sat behind me that I'm about to show you that I really want to pick up in the month of July. So pretty much anything. So my TBR essentially for Bookopoly looks like this. How did we get here? Watch me struggle with my Bookopoly TBR. That would be ridiculous. Um, so we've got the fifth season, Orion Lost and Ready Player One for Bookopoly, uh, which is exciting. And then just any mood read as well will complete the task. So hopefully there will be no punishment for July's TBR. But, you know, I would never say never with me. Um, so then just to go through with you now, because otherwise this is going to be a really short video, just to go through with you some of the other books that I would really like to get to in July that um, for sci-fi, it's sci-fi July. I'm going to have to science the shit out of this. So I have a stack of books that I'm really, really interested in and really do want to pick up in the month of July. And then a stack of books that I 
I'm interested in but don't want to pick up as much. I'm not as excited about them. But first of all, I do have the Middle Grey Monthly book, which is City of Rust by Gemma Fowler. This book is illustrated by Cal James Mountford, which if anybody doesn't know, is Jade's favourite artist. And yeah, I, I have no idea. I, well, actually, it's following Rayleigh. I think it's Rayleigh. Um, who basically is has dreams of winning the biggest drone race on earth with a bio robot robotic gecko atty um, but her chances are crushed she flees skywards hiding out amongst the junkers who mine the rubbish orbit in the planet oh my god this is a sci-fi holy shit i'm inadvertently picking up a middle another middle grade sci-fi that's amazing awesome outstanding news um so i'm looking forward to picking this one up even more so now that i know it's a sci-fi <laughs> holy crap um yeah i'm really excited so and a robotic gecko please yes there is another book i really want to pick up in the month of july as well which is actually a fantasy and that is witch shadow which is the fourth book in the witchland series and this is for the witchlands along so i will be picking that up in july also don't know anything about it can't tell you anything about it because it's the fourth in the series so yeah on to the sci-fi that i want to pick up i have a reasonable stack to be fair like this is a pretty decent stack that i'm really interested in getting into so we have vengeful by v schwab which is the second and final book in the vicious series and i'm really looking forward to continuing on with this series i really love this series uh molly gray characters lots going on really enjoy the series i'm not going to go through each of these books because we'll be here forever otherwise so i want to pick that one up then i've got winter's orbit by everina maxwell which i've heard really good things about i believe this is very political but it's also queer and it's sci-fi and i'm here for that hopefully the politics don't throw me too much but i'm really looking forward to this one i have artemis by andy weir i have never read this book before but i really want to because i loved the martian um so i'm interested in this one i've heard this be described as the martian but on a different planet and with a female main character instead so We'll see what happens with that one, but I have that. Then I have his newest, which is Project Hail Mary, which I've heard incredible things about, so I'm looking forward to picking this one up. And then I also want to reread The Martian. So we have a lot of Andy Weir on this TBR, which I am not mad about at all, but we will see whether or not that's the case in after the month has ended. I then have The Luminous Dead by Caitlin Sterling. Starling. Caitlin Starling. My apologies. Caitlin Starling. And I believe this is like horror sci-fi. So I am interested in this one. I wouldn't say looking forward to it, but I'm interested in this one. Then I have a couple of tour novellas that I'm really hyped about. So I have Hard Reboot by Django Wexler. This has been recommended by Jade, actually. She was sent this by Tor and then told me about it. And she's essentially... This has been compared to Pacific Rim and I was all over it. Like, you would not believe. All over it. Friggin' love Pacific Rim. So Chamber Athena, Guardian Bravo coming to assist. Activating our equip. <laughs> yeah looking forward to this one it's got robots fighting and stuff so hyped and then i also have uh, all systems read by martha wells which is the first in the murderbot series so i've heard incredible things about this one so looking forward to this one as well very very small indeed i have restore me by tahira maffey which is the fourth book in the shatter me series i think uh minus novellas i think this is book four um so i'm looking forward to continuing on with this series every time i pick one of these books up i forget how much i enjoy this series and i kind of just want to binge it so i want to pick this one up but i may end up binging the series as well we will see i have ascender volume one which is a graphic novel series that's a spin-off from descender which is a graphic novel series i have read and recommended multiple times so i would like to get to this one and then i also have we sleep in a sea of stars by christopher Pellini, which uh, aaron has been shouting from the rooftops about so i really want to pick this one up i've heard incredible things about this previous to aaron reading it but i know that aaron has loved this massively so i really want to pick it up um i will leave a link to aaron's channel down below if you want to go and check her out please do so because she's fantastic so yeah but this is a chunky mother chuffer so i am going to get the audio for it because i believe the audio is very good as well so excited for that one so those are the books that i'm really excited about and i really hope i can get to in the month of july 
we will see we know how hard i've been struggling in the month of june so but some other books that i am interested in are the hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy i got the whole set because i've heard incredible things i believe that this is quite funny and a bit of a comedy sci-fi so i've got the hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy I also have 1984 by George Orwell. I don't usually read classics, but I've heard phenomenal things about this, so another option. I also have Renegades by Marissa Mayer, which is like a superhero sci-fi-ish type book, which I'm here for. Uh, the Fireman by Joe Hill, which is actually one of my unhaul project books. So I would really, really, really like to get to this, to be honest, because I'd like to get to an unhaul project book at least one a month, if I possibly can. So it'd be nice to get to this, but it is chunky. So with me having to sleep in a sea of stars it would be nice but we'll see what happens i've got firefight which is the second in the reckoner series by brandon sanderson the first one being steelheart again was also in a recommendations video if you want to know more i will link that up below up below up above so you can check that out if you want to but yeah it would be nice to continue on with that series and then i do have warcross by marie lou as well so that's another option for me so many many options for me to pick up but obviously my actual tbr is only four books long these three and a mood read so we'll see what happens but i'm excited I will keep you updated on how I'm getting on in my reading vlogs. Um, but yeah, my apologies for this being such a small one. Sometimes we have small ones, sometimes we have large ones. I That's what she said. <laughs> I have a feeling that August is not going to be nice to me, so we will see what happens with this. But yeah, um, I'm not mad about those four rolls, to be honest. It takes the pressure off a little bit, which is nice. So we'll see what happens but i'm gonna go i've got lots i need to do now with the rest of my day but i hope you have enjoyed this video if you did please let me know in the comments down below if you've read any of these let me know in the comments down below if you think i should make any of these others that i want to read a priority also let me know in the comments down below but if you don't want to leave a comment just leave a die that's absolutely fine uh just to let me know you got to the end of this video and i shall see you next time bye for now